Sean, you mentioned frequently about both boxes being crucial. Was that ultimately the difference tonight? Yep, um, a team that are free, free rolling at the minute in Newcastle and you know, we're finding good areas, getting into good positions, not finding the clarity in the final third that they found today. Um, and then defence, I've got to be honest, I should rewind actually, because for until their second goal, I thought we were excellent. You know, and I thought the first half we were excellent. And, you know, even though we're 0 down, I, was, I wasn't disappointed. Well, I was disappointed we're 0 down, but you understand my thought that that's how we should be playing. That's how we should be taking games on. Um, Dom's an inch away from staying on side for a great finish in the first half, which would have sealed off a very good first half performance and we started brightly in the second half but when the second goes in really poor goal a really weak goal and then we don't respond after that and then that's the key the key thing for me you know because that can't happen you've got to respond to everything that happens in the game because you're always in it to win it but you can't if you respond like that and too too many soft goals are you know are too many moments that were soft out of a very strong performance suddenly became a weak performance i mean the scoreline i was going to say looks very harsh because the two facts are for until newcastle took the lead we could argue we were dominating, but also it would, like you say, it was a very impressive performance. Yeah, I, I, you know, that's why it's so frustrating. You know, quickly that performance changes um, because we're going so well. You know, the whole thing that we set about doing was there for everyone to see, apart from their goal, of course, but everything else was intact. And I reminded them that half time, but I did say to them, I said, the biggest challenge in football is to go and do it again. And we actually started brightly. But the, the, the second half of them is a really poor goal defensively, and the third the same, um, and then and then the game's got away from me, and then we're in protection mode. We have to look after Dom, obviously. We have to look after Ganna. You know, put, put a massive shift in tonight. Ganna, I thought was excellent. Dom's working hard to try and find that real fitness, and it'll come. But it, it's you know we're fast tracking. Um, yeah, I mean, look, real frustrating. Went a bit of a head scratcher in the end because of the scoreline, because there were so many things right about the performance in the early part until their second goal. And it could have been so different. You mentioned Dom's. I mean, less than less than an inch could have been one all going into half time. Yeah, and a great bit of play. Uh, Michael Keane, who played very well, slides it into Dwight, gets turned and slides Dom in. You know, that's the sort of play we want. That's the sort of running we want from Dom, that getting his shoulders turned, facing the goal. Um, and they did that more than us today, to be fair. They got their wide players higher, which is something I've been working on with the players here. Um, um, the centre forward higher at times and they do change the way they play. They do play longer and they try and put you on the back foot and then they go and play in the space in between, which is what we're working on doing. But they've built that over time. It was such a fast, impressive start against the third best team in the league, one of the most informed as well. How crucial is that going to be that the players replicate that going into five huge games now for the season running? Yeah, massive. Um, you know, I, I said a couple of things to him afterwards, but the biggest thing was the, the best people in football, the best people in any sport, individuals and collectives, they park it very quickly. It doesn't mean you don't think about it or make sense. Of course you do. It doesn't mean you don't look at some of the reasons why. But at the end of the day, it has to be parked very quickly because the next one comes around quickly and they're getting bigger by the week. Is that a key message then? Because I was going to say that understandably everyone connected with Everton is going to be hugely disappointed Absolutely. tonight. But to put this behind, because there's five big games coming up, including a, you know, a huge one at Leicester on Monday. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't got time, quite frankly, to, to overthink everything. We've been doing that. We've been trying to change things. We've been trying to put things in place, trying to correct things, trying to correct on-pitch behaviours and organisation and all of them things. And a lot of it was right tonight. It gets away from you. That's the that's the head scratcher for me. That's what we've got to continue to talk to the players about. But even that, it has to be part quickly because the next one's really, really important. They're all important, but the next one is very important. So we've got to make sure we're clear minded to go into that game. Just with a, just a few word on the players with tight turnaround, obviously a few days. That Amadou and Seamus and, and, and Dom as well, just those three. You have to obviously two playing tonight. Yeah, Seamus has got a chance. Um, Amadou will see how he settles down. Um, Dom, we're protecting really, you know, trying to ease him, get him, not ease him, but you know, uh, manage him back into full fitness. So we're hopeful on, certainly on uh, Seamus and uh, Dom, and we'll have to wait and see with Amadou.